Yeah, hi, I'm Ron from Spokane, Washington. I'm here to show you um, a video of a stone that I found here in this town. I'll tell you a short story about it. It has the image of Christ and the Virgin Mary, among other things in it. It's over how many billions of years it was when the earth was molten. This is when this stone was formed. It's, it's put so many people in just a state of awe that I figured it's time with the tumultuous times that we're having right now in this in this country um, uh, of people that are on the fence, maybe about Christ. This has planted so many seeds, as I've shown to five or 600 people at random, and it just puts people in awe. I stopped the Spokane Rock and Gem Show. There was actually, uh, there was some footage done from the Spokane News Station when it got out there and people started talking about it. They came and did. It was on the nightly news here in, in Spokane. There was write-ups in papers and whatnot. It was, it's just the most amazing, probably the rarest religious artifact that's ever been found. It came out of right out here in Spokane, Washington, and I'm here to show it to you today. The story behind this stone is, is my folks would take us on family vacations uh, in the station wagon. We'd go to rocks and uh, or we go to lakes and rivers and streams all across from, from British Columbia clear up into to, uh, almost the Mexican border. Uh, every time we would come back with a whole station wagon full of stones that me and my brother and my sister would pick out from the lakes and rivers and streams and you know alongside the road just neat looking stone and mom would take them when we got home and put them up alongside the fences and around her, her little gardens and stuff years and years and years of this well as the years went by I'd moved out and I was in Oregon and dad had passed away and mom wanted me to come help her with the home and I was up on a day, kind of like today, as you pan out here, it was kind of a foggy day in Spokane, similar to what you're looking at out my window right now. This is a different home, but not too far away in Spokane here. And there was a, you know, a little bit of dew on the ground while I was helping the roofers do the roof at mom's house. Stepped on a nail, making up all sorts of new cuss words as I'm coming down off the ladder. And I looked down underneath the, the grapevines and here's this stone about the size of an egg looking back up at me. And I look at my partner, Joe, and I go, look it, man, it looks like dude looking up at me. And he goes, and he goes, yeah, that's pretty. I picked it up and rubbed it off. And he goes, well, that is kind of neat looking. And he goes, well, how do you know it isn't Marilyn Manson? I said, because I found it. And I say, it's, I called Jesus dude at the time. I said, because I found it. And I said, it's dude. And he goes, okay, fair enough. And I said, okay. So, you know, I'd show it to people and People would sometimes make a little bit of fun of me and stuff, but they'd look at it and they'd go, wow, that, that's pretty neat. You know, and the years went by and they kind of, you know, people known me as the guy with the rock and the rock guy and stuff. And and, uh, and it, time went past by and several years, several years, and I was in eating dinner right here in this house right here, my in our bedroom, me and Kathy's bedroom, and I've got my feet up and I'm watching the nightly news, NBC nightly news with know, Tom Brokaw or somebody, but they they'd, uh, had a segment on to where a lady had put a quarter in an M&M's machine and it came out crushed in the image of Jesus, this M&M. And there was a big uprise about it and they were talking about this cheese sandwich, the famous cheese sandwich that was burnt in the image of Jesus that Caesar Palace, I believe, had bought. And uh, that's probably the most famous one. And I'm going, you know, honey, where's that stone? Let's show them the real thing. Since everybody's making such a, you know, a hissy fit over this, I said, I got the real thing here. And uh, as she was walking down the stairs after she turned up with it, She's coming down the stairs. She goes, Ron, did you notice when you turn it upside down, the Virgin Mary's in it? And I go, no, I didn't. How long have you known this? Now I know it's Christ. And the Virgin Mary is even clearer. And I mean, Kathy has a lot to do with the stone too, because without of uh, noticing that, and I mean, it's the perfect image of the Russian Orthodox, uh, 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 as I can show you this, this right here. Here's the Orthodox. And here she is with her little veil, her eyes, the whole works. I hope you can see that in there, everybody. Um, uh, here's, a, here's a better one maybe of her in there. As you can see right here, you've got her veil coming down around here like this. Her two little eyes right there, her mouth, and they've got these, there's all these little red lines. There's all sorts of things. There's like some Hebrew written up on the top of, up on the top of his head. Right here, as you can see, an eye, an eye, when you really start looking at it. And if people catch, this catch is on the YouTube, we'll start getting more details and stuff in this for you. There's something like Hebrew or something written up here. All of these red lines coming off of this little red deal here. There's a little four gem set in here. There's just all sorts of things in this stone, but 
the Virgin Mary and and dude, <laughs> Jesus Christ, in it to two eyes. And as you can see, the wavy hair coming down around his head kind of folds back around here. Um, this is just the most amazing, the rarest stone. And, and I figure at the times, the people that are on the fence may be about Christ. This will this will turn them. I mean, think of it. Two thousand years ago, Christ around around two thousand some hundred you know years, Christ was here. Well, this stone being billions of years old. I mean, a quinka dink. I don't think. I mean, the Lord doesn't work in our time. You know, I'm a, I'm a devout Christian. Uh, this isn't to be praised or anything else. It's brought a lot of joy into my life, and it's it's really it, it's changed people's lives already. Looking at this and thinking, I mean. Uh, the Lord has put this in here for people to look at, and and a seed planter, uh, it, it is. And you know whether you believe in it or not, we're going to put it out here. And, and it's the rarest religious artifact that's probably ever been found. I've thought about it for years. I've had uh, experts look and, and think about it, and just in awe, it stopped the Rock and Gem Show at the Spokane Fairgrounds. Uh, I mean, it stopped uh, kids having sales at, at schools. They'd all stop if I show it to a butcher in a store. He would, as I'd go around, the, he'd, he'd have somebody, he'd go, show him that stone. The newspaper came and did a, a, a ad and stuff, excuse me for, for burping there. And, but this is just the most amazing thing, and I, I figure it's time to get it out there. I, I'm thinking that the world needs something like this right now. This is something that, that proves the existence beyond the shadow of a doubt. Well, I think one of the first times you could ever look at something and see that Christ is here, and he's still on the throne. And he always has been, and the Lord works in mysterious ways. And this stone, I, wow, that's, that's all I can say. We're going to just see if this catches on. I hope it does, because I can just put it back or put it back away and, you know, maybe cast it back into a river again. Who knows? It's not going to change anything about what Christ's plan is for this world, except that maybe it'll bring some of his children back where he wants them. And... Uh, just God bless everybody. I hope this really catches on. Like I say, if this if this catches on and you, and you can't see quite as well as you, you do, and we get enough hits on this, we'll make it more available and, and have a better better quality of, of uh, visuals on it. Um, I'm hoping this is just the most amazing thing that's ever been on YouTube, period. Uh, I, I just, let's get the word out. In the name of Jesus, amen.